crazy, cool, funny, smart, inappropriate, loud, super violent, with minors spewing all sorts of obscenities. The crowd at a Jonas Brothers concert? No, it's kick ass. Hey there, Kelly Gingery, Flick Chick TV. And I wanna tell you about a movie that I saw twice and loved both times. Kick ass. Take a look. Oh yeah. Didn't see that, did ya? That's right, we're superheroes. You love us. You might not know what Kick-Ass is. Well, it is a movie based on a comic book, and it's not your run-of-the-mill superhero story. I gotta tell you, I saw this movie about a month ago at the South by Southwest Festival at its world premiere. The audience loved it. And you know what makes this different? It's funny, it's fresh, but the performances out of the park. Awesome. Nicolas Cage, who talks like this in the movie, kind of an homage to Adam West from Batman. He plays Big Daddy. He looks awesome and he's crazy. I mean, well, we know Nicolas Cage is love. Anyway. Oh, child. <laughs> you always knock me for a loop. The guy who plays kick ass, Aaron Johnson, this young kid, actually, he's British. Who knew? But he has a great American accent. And Christopher Mintz Plass, who played McLovin. Do you remember him? Well, he plays this character who wannabe superhero named Red Mist. Okay, so all these kids are great. The teenagers are great, but I'm not mentioning one. There is one character who steals the movie. So you wanna play? Who are you? I'm Hit Girl. Chloe Grace Moretz, remember her name, plays Hit Girl. As a little kid. She has all the best lines, all the best action sequences. <laughs> Chloe brings down the house. Hit girl. I mean, you watch. People will be talking about her. Well, they already are kind of, but they're going to be talking about her again. She's going to be huge. She's and normal. She's a normal kid. I was kind of a stalker Rotsy, a little bit. I thought, after I saw this movie at South by Southwest, and then I saw her at the panel discussion, I needed my picture taken with Hit Girl. So, I found her, and I got my picture taken with her. And she's cute, and she's funny, and smart, and she didn't think I was weird, so she's got that going for her too, which is good. I like all kinds of movies, but I do want people to know this is funny, and it's clever, and it's smart, and it's different, but it is very, very violent. It's rated R for a reason. So I'm putting that out there. Some of it is cartoonish violence, but a lot with guns and knives and chop sake and all that stuff, woo! So, I mean, a couple times I'm like this. Na, 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 na. I'm just saying, it's violent. So I've seen it twice. So I like it. I really like it. So I'm recommending it to you. Like I said, if you're okay with violence and with 11 year olds saying things that some truck drivers don't even say. If you're okay with that, I think you're gonna like it. Okay, so this is Kelly Gingery, the Flick Chick. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this shirt, my Hit Girl shirt, and I'm gonna go back to the theater. I'm gonna see it a third time. Oh, I want to say, Hit Girl, I'm talking to you right here. Just in case, maybe sometime Big Daddy isn't available, I have an idea. Me? Little Mama, what do you think? Totally help you out. You didn't see this coming, did you? I am so ready to get bad guys. Hit Girl, I've got your back, and what? I know, it's a little Carol Brady on acid. But it's my first time, I'm new at this, but I'm ready. Check it out.
Listen up, you jerks! Step away from the little girl in the purple cape, or I'm gonna kick you. You. I'm gonna kick you! Yeah! Back off. Done.